Hey yo, internet, welcome back to another part of my uh, gameplay of Battlefleet uh, Gothic Armada from 2016, developed by Tinderos Interactive and published by Focus Home Inter Interactive. Alright, and um, I'm just at the end of turn 6 or day 6, I don't know. I think it's turn and we are moving onwards in terms of years, rather. We are just in the year 140 of the 31st millennia, so I think this means we are in the year... 40,140, if I'm right with that, millennia 40, 41. So, enough said. We just go on, and um, yeah, there's uh, just one more planet right now in the uh, Gothic sector that's under threat by an enemy faction, and these are even heretics. And uh, I just wondered about the symbol that uh, the heretics are depicted in with here in this game and uh, it looks like a perversion of course of the um, Imperium of Man double-headed eagle symbol and it has its wings as well it has a circle and a skull in it and I think the lower part is um, taken from the chaos sign like these I don't know like these uh, circled circle with um, spikes or Maybe it's not a circle of spikes, but it's rather like uh, lines, pointed lines that uh, lie across each other and so form a circle. But it's all right. Let's just move on and uh, let's go for the next turn. Yeah, it's one year. Eldar pirates are attacking Im Ooh. Imperial transporters across several important trade routes in the sector. The attacks are not typical of such alien raiders. From right. the style and frequency of the raids, we believe that the pirates are Eldar Corsairs. Admiral Spire, <clears throat> I want you to take your fleet and deal with the foul Xenos. We must secure our supply lines from Eldar harassment, or our ships elsewhere in the sector will suffer. Oh, I understand the importance of this mission, Lord Admiral. I will do my best to keep those arrogant aliens in check. The Imperial Navy will not tolerate alien interference in our affairs. All right, Elda Corsairs, we got a new Xeno faction that we will have to deal with. Um, the Elder finally unveiled their presence in the Tech Imperial world, so they will fight to take planets from you. Be aware that any system under their control will give you penalties depending on the system's type and make them more aggressive. So the more systems they have, the more likely are they to stage new attacks. Elder have moderate chances of attacking a system each turn. For each planet they control, they have increased chances of launching another attack. Right, that's just as I said. And a new type of mission, assassination mis mission. In assassination missions, an important officer is on board an admiral ship. He is, his vulnerability will create a perfect opportunity to strike him down. Defender will have to destroy or make the enemy fleet disengage or disengage the target. And attacker will have to destroy the admiral's fleet. The important officer's ship, I mean. Yeah, destroy the targeted enemy ship. All right, and I think this is directly the mission for the, yeah, we got a priority mission, and I can't even choose another mission. So I wondered, so I just made one more turn. I had just advanced one more turn, and I already had two more um, planets under threat. So I knew of this part, more heretic incursion on the planet, and the mission is data recovery, and I, Directly got two new missions in my Gothic subsector. I got a cruiser clash against heretics uh, in the on the system Colini and the subsector Lizardes, and now I'm I'm uh, forced to engage the Elder first. And that's nice. I I didn't fought the Elder so far, and uh, they got introduced as a new enemy faction in turn seven. Right there we are in the Cyclops cluster subsector, and uh, the system under threat is the Planet system. Yeah, and it's the first time to fight against Elder. Deploy your fleet against the Eldar Corsairs who are harrying our supply lines across the Gothic sector. I want you to destroy every Eldar ship in the sector. Caution, Admiral Spire. Eldar vessels are swift and agile. You may find yourself outmaneuvered if you are not careful. Okay, I will just have to uh, destroy the enemy Eldar flagship. flagship. Uh, oh, it's 450 points attacker mission. That's great. So meaning I can have more ships than so far. I just had 300 points missions and the first time that I will be able to...
The Eldar are an ancient and arrogant alien race. Their ships appear fragile, but are highly maneuverable and equipped with powerful, sophisticated weaponry. Their vessels are protected by hollow fields that distort our augur readings, making them very difficult to hit. In addition, the Eldar Corsairs have captains and crews who are quite skilled at void combat. Eldar Corsairs prefer hit-and-run attacks. To counter this, use strength in numbers and compact defense. The Inquisitor suspects that the Corsairs are connected to an Eldar craft world lurking within the Graildark Nebula. Once you engage the Eldar, report any information you can gather on the craft world and the Corsairs. Wow, it was a lot of information in this very short cutscene again. All right, I'm going to take my two cruisers, of course. That's not very good because they are very slow, and I heard just they are very fast, maneuverable, and agile, these Eldar ships. But no problem, I can have, I have enough points to feel another, oh, wow, to have even more, two ships two more ships and I think going with my um, I like double micro turret like micro batteries too uh, and he got torpedoes and he got a heavy pro lance well lances are nice but I think um, now I'm going with this one and I have enough even for having an, uh, another one escort above me I think I take my Da, da, da. Like double micro turret, like micro turret, like double micro turret, but two times. Um, no, I'm going with this one with a like pro lens. Right. All right, four ships. Let's go. Admiral, our auger arrays have detected the Eldar Corsair fleet. We need to be cautious, Admiral. The solar sails on their ships enable tremendous speeds. In addition, they are highly maneuverable. It is foul, Xenos Tech. Indeed, Tech Priest. From my past experiences fighting the Eldars, I have noticed that they tend to mass all their weaponry on their ship's prowls. The order of the day is to focus our fire on the enemy flagship. Let us teach this Xenos leader a lethal lesson. All right. Um, my Dominator. And uh, my next cruiser, the uh, Gothic class. And I got a Dauntless light cruiser. And an escort ship, Firestorm frigate, with a pro lance. Uh, I would like to change already um, his behavior. He got a light double micro turret with 6k range maximum and a light pro lance with 6k. So he's gonna rather stay back and just attack front. What about my Gothic cruiser? He's at 6k range because he got a range of 6k with lance batteries, and lance batteries always hit its target. It's alright. Just let's go. Enemies, where are you? I think this is target. And Spire, I would. I presume. At last, we meet the new promoted Mon Key Admiral, who has been fighting the arch enemy in the purgatory system. It is a pleasure to meet you in person. Fool. You have been sent to death. Reaching Imperial frontiers and raiding Imperial convoys in the Gothic sector. Your dissidence ends here. We shall see, Mon Key. After all, the Emperor is with you, isn't he? <laughs> okay, what's this stuff there? Some destroyed vessels. I just wanted to maneuver in to have my torpedoes shot at him. Changing course! Target locked in! Can I have my stasis bomb on him, please? Resuming normal functions. Oh, he's too fast. Master Gunner. The Eldar use a different technology to our void shields, called hollow fields. The faster their ships move, the more they disturb our targeting coordinators. I'm focusing your fire.
fire on their engines as much as you can. Yes, yeah, so I already did that. Understood, Admiral. Slow Xenos. Dead Xenos. Ship ready. Targeting enemy vessel. Okay, this time I'm going for special order lock on. So this um, gives me better chance of critical lock hits. On target. Awaiting orders. Course plotted. And this is a let me have a look. This is a elder cruiser there. What's the special ability? Spectral helm. Oh, he's taking some hits. Yeah, this is a special ability of Elder Waltz Maneuver. The ship affects a 180 degree turn. Okay, this is my yes, Gothic Cruiser, right. right? And he got his lances. And he got shot. Activate uh, special shield, supercharged void shield. Oh, there's not a ship coming. Oh, there are torpedoes incoming. Enemy ship sighted. Speed set. How fascinating. Your tactical decision making is pathetic. But luck seems to be on your side. It won't happen again when you meet our prince. What a pitiful arrogance. Master Duff, maintain sustained fire against the Eldar flagship. There's a light cruiser coming. At your command. I got bought it two times. First time was a failure. For the Emperor. And second time hit. I got a fire on board. I can Initiate emergency repairs. Combat the fire. Oh god yes, god, you gotta move please. But I'm doing quite good damage on this flagship. Understood. Come on, I want to have him please be uh, primary charged. Awaiting orders. Engines hot. He's almost down. At your command. Execute high energy turn. What's that running silent? It is. Ship ready. And what's this sign meaning? Your orders. Company's almost down. This oh, mission will be orders. over very soon. We are the Imperial Navy. I just wonder what he did. Yeah, I think I almost made it. Ship ready. But he destroyed one of my ships, not yours. Yeah, come on, he's down. 16 health points, that's all. And damn! I've done well. The target has been eliminated. That I'm was sure fast. their so-called prince will think twice before raiding our territories again. All right, and we got some elder prince, elder corsairs prince. 
I bet you're gonna meet him and have to fight him. The decurs of the uh, campaign. Well, I earn a lot of renown. Although I didn't cripple or destroy many enemy ships. It's alright. And uh, my Dauntless Cruiser got on level 5. That's good. I think this means uh, one more, of course, one more crew point. Every single, uh, one more crew experience point. Every single level you get a new... Well done, Admiral. You have proved your worth once again. This should send a clear message to all who dare raid the Imperium in the Gothic Sector. Yeah. Do not count this as a victory of skill, human. Your ships were fortunate in battle, but you have a crude grasp, at best, of void combat strategy. We shall meet again soon, when I so choose. What arrogance! I wish to discuss void combat strategy with this Eldar Prince, not with words. But with a merciless broadside of macro cannons. Macro cannons. I want you to report any information you can gather on that pirate. All right, <clears throat> and then we are back. We just had a the campaign-driven mission, and now we are free to uh, use the uh, last deployment on this turn seven. Um, and there were two. Things I could engage, and this is both times it's against heretics, and I got a mission cruiser clash and a data recovery. And this planet is already lost, so it's red and it's got a um, heretic symbol over hovering over it. And this was an agri world. This would mean a penalty on renown earned after every mission. And I think the same goes for this system and the subsector part more. That's Again, already lost. It's just a mining world. So I lost two um, basic words, basic product words. But I'm not going to engage this uh, next mission right now. Oh, yeah, there's one thing I would like to do. I probably would like to see the uh, cruiser clash first because this could mean more points in this engagement to uh, deploy ships. See, I got 500 points. This this just makes some really good space battles with a lot of ships already. And this data recovery would be 400 points. It's not that bad. Okay, I'm in Port Mar subsector. I just want to go to Port Mar station. And I will just have to redistribute, uh, or not redistribute, but I can uh, spend another crew, crew skill point on my level 5 Dauntless class cruiser already. Yeah, there it is. Crew. And he got skilled up maximum his servitors on board. Those mindless drones of flesh and metal used to carry out simple manual tasks. They are often criminals who have offended the cult mechanicus. And uh, I got the best cooldown of all my skills. And after this, I think I'm going for better shooting and hitting. What are ratings? These are the troops. And yeah, for... Attacking and boarding enemy ships and defending. It's rather about uh, defending. Um, but I'm not quite sure if it's necessary for a Dauntless class like Cruiser. And I would like to have him now skill up his abilities to uh, shoot the enemy. Well, let me just have a look briefly. These Pro Lands. Yeah, it's always its target. So there's no need to have a better accuracy in it. But that's not a problem because I have two more like double micro turrets and like micro batteries, two of them. And it would be nice to see how good I can improve the uh, chance of hitting. But I just see, so it's Master Gunner um, crew part and uh, the lore story reads the master gunner is an, office, is an officer capable of improving the efficiency of a ship's standard weaponry all right and uh, he, but he doesn't um, improve the general uh, ability to hit an enemy ship with your weapons but it proves but he improves by 25 percent the critical chance of lances and micro weapons per level critical chance 25 percent 
wow, that's great. Well, I just would like to see if this is going to be um, um, indicated here. So you have this tooltip and it reads for the uh, light micro battery 1.5% critical chance for the turrets, micro turrets um, 0.75% and 6% for the heavy pro lens. If I get this screw point here, I'm not quite sure if this will be um, displayed correctly. Let me have a look. 1.5, 0.75, Point seven five and six percent, but I believe this works. So this should, again, let me have a look. Yeah, improves by twenty five percent the critical chance of lances. So I guess it's not twenty five percent more critical chance, but it's twenty five percent of let's say one point five percent. So meaning almost one uh, zero point four percent. So I should have almost two percent chance. Figures, figures, figures. Okay, that's it for this part. Um, it's alright. Um, next part will be a battle against heretics, so other Imperium of Man, space um, ships, and what? Well, I'm looking forward. Um, that's it for this part. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Have a nice evening. Bye.